This is a special purchase, which was a massive thanks from the patrons for their support in purchasing this vehicle and helping raise the extra money that we needed to save it before it went to a scrapyard or got bought by someone else. It's as far as we're right, it's the only one, it's S114 KRN and we've had this now for a few weeks and it's got a few TV issues, some of them have been fixed. So I'll run you through it for now, uh, it's the day we picked it up it started fine, it, but it had a little wee at the front and that has been currently bodged into place. That's that one off. And now, in theory, according to the instructions I've been given, this should just pull off. Yeah. One minute. Turns out the bus had quite a bit of water. So what I'm doing here now is I'm winding the handbrake off to make it easier to crack the collar on the other side of the brake chamber. Now as you heard then, the reason we're doing this is because the uh, brake chamber is shot and uh, just bear with me one minute. I'm just going to go turn it off.
to see now it's time to raise up the pedestal. Again, bringing This vehicle is turning left. I was just about to joke about that one. <laughs> no ex-coaches have that now, don't they? Yeah. Cushion, this vehicle is turning left. Well. Well, if the big yellow flashing light didn't quite give it away, I think it'll be lost on the cyclists anyway. Mm, you clip for that pipe. My um, ratchet's just given up. I knew it was going anyway, but... The, yeah. That's the cheap one that Callum, uh, the cheap style that Callum brought. Yeah, um, that's what happened. Snapped it on doing a um, board and a track red end. It, it was broken anyway, but I've just finished it off. Tighten the Jubilee clip. I love this mount here. That's yeah, not nice. that, that's not a bodge in any way, and the anti rattle cloth that we have. <laughs> I did notice why there was a pair of your was well, you know, wanted to ask why there's a pair of your underwear in the engine bay. It's the anti-rattle cloth. <laughs> Don't like we bought it like that. There's cloths everywhere in this engine bay that stopped it rattling. <laughs> So our famous wheel nut markers are going back on. To prove our wheel nuts are attached to the bus and not loose, after we've just ta talked them up to um, 300 and something newton metres, I think it was 380. 380. Uh, does technically need to do 30 miles and then be done again, but because there's no MLT, it ain't going to do 30 miles until it goes with its MLT. But for a point of reference, at least we'll know if they're moving or not. As well as we'll do a proper visual check before we leave. Just to ensure that they are properly tied. I'm not going to drop some diesel. But I'm not using, reusing this diesel because it's been through that dirty sediment filter. But. Can we use a bit of the diesel to do that thread? Right, so, ideally, I could do with testing fuel flow with that thing. Oh, that's right over there. That's not coming off. Supposed to put a new washer on it, but that washer's not going to come off. So. It will be fine. Right, so yeah, I'm not going to reprime this yet. I'm going to prime it normally for that round. And. Do you want an extension bar to bring it a bit higher? Yeah, that'd be. Extension bar. If you've got one to hand. That bracket is very nice, isn't it? Yeah. The lift pump's there. It's quite accessible, isn't it? And we've got to get that the pipe there. That one is the one that needs possibly needs replacing. Right. But I'm toying with the idea of just taking that pump out and just it's not a, it's not a mechanical pump is it it's just a pump air out is it yeah 
speed bump. So you can already hear fuel moving around. But, from the test that we've done, we know there's no water in the head. We need to find the where the actual source of where all the calculations are done for the bell and by that means is where all the bell wires go because the disabled bell has a red and black wire and it should bring up the disabled bell warning in the cab and these have green and red wires which should bring on the stopping light and the bell and bus stop light that should do the same bus stopping uh but bring on the blue warning on the dashboard um, That sandwich, that one in there. Keep it on. I mean, it's all put back together, we'll wait for the back. <laughs> so, mate, should just spin it in reverse. Yeah, it's okay. eight there. Um, it's got no gear ratio on this one either, Jordan, it's direct drive. Right. Oh, yeah. So it's five five and a half kilowatt because it's direct drive. It's an offset crank, which is why it's got twelve teeth, not ten. But the guy, I tell you what, the way he reeled info off. He did that over the phone. It's brilliant. Fucking spot. Well, Sean up there. What was the guy? What, what company did we use? Oh, DFJ Auto, Preston. Yeah. Start motors and alternators. Uh, buses, truck, and marine. And um, military, vintage yeah. military. A gentleman was called Barry. I mean, I forgot to bring that litre day pot. <sighs> now we go get that and put that in. And we've got that stuff that's on the back seat. Yeah, I'm sure that's ATF. 
put a bit in. It looks like ATF. Yeah, it does, it does it? It smells like ATF. Um, I'm glad that we cleaned this up, we need to be careful. Why? You can see where that pipe's been rubbing. It's 18 to the cop to the brass pipe. Come on, you bastard, fall from that side. One at the back, of course there's one at the back, but they go get that one right at the back. 